The Danger of Dust Lots of activities create dust, for example, drilling, coring, and cutting concrete or wood. Performing such activities or even just working near them can expose you to dust that can be breathed in. Whether it's a lot in a short amount of time or a little over a long period of time, it can damage your lungs. Even when working outside, enough dust can be breathed in to cause harm. This can have several health effects, ranging from difficulty in breathing and fatigue to asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lung cancer, and silicosis, which could lead to death. The most important step is to prevent dust exposure in the first place. So let's have a look at how you can reduce your exposure to dust. When performing a task using a chop or circular saw, please ensure you use a vacuum system that fits directly onto the tool itself and removes dust as it is made. Make sure the vacuum system is rated class M, medium, or H, higher. Don't use a vacuum system classed as L or use a general domestic vacuum. Make sure the vacuum extraction hose connects properly to the tool with a closed seal so that no dust can escape. Wear an FFP3 mask and ensure it fits you properly by having it face fitted before use. In addition to having masks face fitted, workers can also wear self-checking masks that allow them to make sure the mask seals against their face. This is done by pressing on the filters to close the air intake, inhaling, and seeing if the mask collapses. Remember, face masks or PPE should be your last line of protection as it's the least effective. To reduce dust exposure when using cut-off machines, do the following. Use the purpose-built water suppression system. Don't use a bottle of water to wet the surface of the material beforehand. It is ineffective as the surface needs to be continually wetted throughout the task. And again, wear a respirator that's been fitted to your face and is of FFP3 standard. Control the risks and protect your health.